Hi, it's Kylie. You know, you might be feeling really small today, or you might be feeling really big. Either way, when we're together and we express ourselves through art, it's powerful. So what do you say? Will you join me? You will? Awesome. You know, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it. Come on. Hi friend, it's me, Kylie. I'm so excited to hang out with you today, and I'm double excited because there's something in our maker box. Can you guess what's in there? I can't, let's open it up. It's a little tiny pumpkin. Pumpkin. Oh, and a piece of paper. It has words on it. Let's read it. In the maker box today, you found a pumpkin and a clue. This is a clue. Now find another in a different box that starts with M2. Like the maker box. Maker box. Okay, in the maker box today, you found a pumpkin and a clue. Now find another in a different box that starts with M too. This kind of sounds like um, a pumpkin treasure hunt. Do you want to go on a treasure hunt with me? You do? Yes. Okay, okay. Let's read our clue again because we need to figure it out. In the maker box today, you found a pumpkin and a clue. Now find another in a different box that starts with M2. Okay, so I think this means that if we find another box that starts with the letter M, we'll find another pumpkin and maybe another clue. Do you know of another box that starts with the letter M? Hmm. Mmm, box. Mmm, box. Mmm, muffin box. I don't, I don't have a muffin box. Um, mom, no. Mercury box, that would have to be very big. Um, mail, mailbox, mailbox. Do you think that's it? Let's go check it out, come on. Mailbox. Clue, pumpkin. <laughs> this is so fun. Let's read the next clue. You found me, you found me. I am orange and round. To find another pumpkin, find someone furry and brown. Someone furry that's the color brown. Do you know anyone furry around here? Hmm. I know. I know where the next pumpkin and the next clue are. We need to find Hash Brown the dog. Let's go. I see him and our pumpkin. Hi. Hash Brown the dog likes pumpkins and he especially likes me. Now go find my other friends, friends, on what used to be a tree. Ash Brown, do you have any ideas? Well, most trees live outside 
Let's go outside and look. Used to be a tree. I mean, here's a tree, but it's still a tree, you know? Used to be a tree. Pumpkin! Clue hmm. What? You found something? Where? <laughs> of course! You are brilliant! The stump used to be a tree. And look, here's all the pumpkins. We found the pumpkin treasure! Let's load them up, take it to the studio, cut one open and see what's inside. You want to? Let's do it. That won't fit. Let's go. Hi, welcome to the studio. Let's open this pumpkin up and see what's inside. You're definitely going to want an adult to help you with this part because we're gonna use a very sharp knife to cut this very thick pumpkin shell. Okay, I cut all the way around top. Are you ready to take the top off? Oh, it's gooey and there's seeds inside. Cool. It smells. Pumpkin-y. Wow, I got all the pumpkin goo scooped out of the pumpkin. It feels really slimy. It's so beautiful, this light orange color. And do you see these seeds? Whoa. <laughs> this little slippery pumpkin seed is how this huge pumpkin started this little tiny seed got planted in the ground and it stayed underground and it drank some water up from the ground and it reached up toward the light and it came out of the ground as a plant. And then it grew and it grew and it grew and that's how this pumpkin was made. Isn't that amazing? And inside this pumpkin are all these seeds that would grow other pumpkins. That is the coolest. It reminds me about art a little bit. How just very simple things make all the different kinds of art. Like, think about a line. A line is just a dot that travels all the way to another dot. One simple line can make all of the shapes. It can make all the things that we draw. It's like a seed for art. I have an idea. What if we decorated all of these pumpkins with different kinds of lines? Do you want to try it? Let's do it. We're going to use puffy paint to decorate these pumpkins. And we're going to use just lines to do it. Let's see how many different kinds of lines we can think of when we decorate this big one. You know what? I see a line right away. I see a line that's part of the pumpkin. Look. It's a straight line and it goes up and down. That kind of line is called a vertical line. Let's make some vertical lines on this pumpkin. We covered the pumpkin with vertical lines. Now let's fill up these sections with different kinds of lines. What do you think? Hmm. We made lines that go up and down. What if this time we made lines that went across like this? That's called a horizontal line. Let's do it. I have an idea. On this one, instead of going up and down vertical or across horizontal, let's go diagonal, which means it goes low to high or high to low, but also goes side to side. Let's try it. I love it! What other kind of line can we make? Oh, I know. How about a curved line that goes like this? 
kind of like a rainbow. Cool. Um, that reminds me of a zigzag line. That looks like a lightning bolt. I have one spot left. For this one, let's do a squiggly line. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. I really like saying the word squiggle. Lots of times when people carve pumpkins, they carve faces into the pumpkins. We can make a lot of different faces using just lines. Faces can tell us a lot of things about how people are feeling, can't they? And we can use those faces and lines to make our pumpkins look like they're feeling different things. Let's start with happy. How do you think we would make this pumpkin look happy? Do you know what a happy face looks like? Try one. Yeah, you smile, your eyes get squinty. Let's draw a happy face on this pumpkin. We made two lines that met at the same point, which made a shape. We made two ovals for the eyes with lines. Now I'm gonna use two diagonal lines, one that goes up and one that goes down. This is gonna make it look like our pumpkin has eyelashes. So happy. We'll do a little nose with a curved line and then a big smile with two curved lines. Two more curved lines. And look at this happy, happy pumpkin. Let's make this pumpkin look sad. What does a face that looks sad look like? Instead of doing big open eyes, we're gonna do two curved lines, curving down, a little nose, and this time, a big curved line. Oh, for a sad little mouth. And maybe we'll draw a teardrop. Oh, little pumpkin, it'll be okay. How does this pumpkin look? I think this pumpkin looks peaceful. What does a peaceful face look like? Mm, maybe like this. Aww. This pumpkin looks a little worried to me. Do you ever get worried? What does that face look like? Maybe the eyes are just dots. Dot, dot. And then we're gonna give this worried person little eyebrows. Oh! And for their mouth, we're gonna make a, just a squiggly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This pumpkin looks, I think, surprised. Have you ever been surprised? <gasps> Let's draw a surprised face on this pumpkin. We'll do little dots for eyes again. And little curved lines for eyebrows. Maybe two little dots for the nose. And then a big circle mouth. Whoa! Maybe he's surprised how surprised he looks. Let's make this pumpkin look silly. Can you make your silly face? Uh, that's such a good one. Okay, let's give this pumpkin a silly face with some lines. A half circle or a curved line for the eyes. A cute little nose, a big smile. And then we'll do another curved line and a diagonal line for a little tongue. Uh, oh, 
I know a big feeling we haven't talked about yet. Mad. Mad is another word for angry. This is what my angry face looks like. What does your angry face look like? My eyes kind of get scrunchy. My mouth kind of gets scrunchy. My nose gets scrunchy. I guess I get really scrunchy when I'm mad. Well, let's do some diagonal lines for scrunchy eyes. And then we'll do some big scrunchy eyebrows. Mad nose. And then we'll make a mad mouth. Ugh. Hey! I'm a pumpkin. I'm mad. You know, sometimes I just feel confused. Maybe I don't understand what my teacher's trying to say to me, or maybe I heard a new word and I didn't know what it meant, or maybe my friend's mad at me and I don't even know why. I'm just like, nothing really makes sense. I'm just very confused. All these pumpkins have faces made out of lines that show us different feelings. These are only eight different feelings, but there are so many different ways to feel. And it's important to think about how we feel so that we can tell other people and also so that we know. For example, maybe when we think about how we feel, we find out that we're actually really mad about something. If we know that, we can kind of take a minute and calm down a little bit. So we might still be mad, but we're not going to be mean or rude because we know we're mad. And so we can take a minute to calm down and be kind. All the feelings fit. All the feelings make sense. And it's good to know how you feel. And it's good to know how other people feel so that you can be a good friend to them. That was a good Day. Let's think about what we did together. It all started out with the maker box. Do you remember what was inside when we opened it up? A pumpkin? And a clue. We read the clue and we found out that we were gonna be going on a pumpkin treasure hunt. The first clue led us to the mailbox. And guess what? There was pumpkin mail. And in the mailbox with the pumpkin, there was another clue. Do you remember where the next clue took us? to someone brown and furry. It was Hash Brown the dog! <laughs> he had a pumpkin right by him in his bed. And there was another clue. That clue took us outside and you found out what the clue meant. It wasn't a tree, it was something that used to be a tree, a stump, and that's where all the pumpkins were. There were big ones, and medium-sized ones, and little tiny ones. We took all the pumpkins and we brought them to my studio. and we took them all out. Do you remember what we did then? We took one of the big pumpkins and we carved the top off and we looked inside. Do you remember what we saw inside when we opened it up? 
lots of gook, and little tiny seeds. They were kind of oval shaped. And we realized that those little tiny seeds were what made a pumpkin plant. And a pumpkin plant is what made these big, awesome pumpkins. We thought about art a little bit, and we realized that kind of like little tiny seeds make big pumpkins, it's just really simple lines that make a lot of art. Do you remember that? And we painted one of the pumpkins with different kinds of lines. Let's try to remember what kind of lines we found out about. Mm, vertical lines go up and down. Horizontal lines go from side to side. Diagonal lines go both up and down and side to side at the same time, kind of like a slide. We did curved lines. We did zigzags. And, oh, we did squiggles, my favorite. Then we took those lines and we decided that we were going to paint them onto the pumpkins we found and make the pumpkins different kinds of faces that meant different kinds of feelings. I hope you have a great time using what you learned about lines today to make your own creations and to express your own feelings. I am so excited for the next thing we make together. See you then. Want to make more things together? Me too. K-Y-L-E-E. -E. That's me. Search Kylie Makes It for lots of fun art videos. Also, parents and educators, go to kyliemakesit.com. I have lots of things for you too. Like this video and subscribe.